I don't like tattoo, and my soon-to-be wife just got one in the worst possible place. As the title says, I don't like tattoos. I don't think you are special for having one. I don't think you are a deep person for getting a random Chinese character on your skin. I especially don't like those intricate big tattoos that cover a lot of skin. I just don't like them. Having said that, I have friends that have all of the above, and that's fine. It's not on my skin, it doesn't bother me, and as long as we can talk about anything else, it's all fine. Enter my soon-to-be wife. We've been together for five years. She is painfully aware of my feelings, but she still wanted to have a tattoo before we marry, a symbol of us to carry with her. I didn't really like the idea, but what can I really do? I love her, and what harm can a tattoo do? We talked where she should have it done, and the back of the wrist came as a suggestion, the shoulder, on her leg, on her back, tramp stamp, etc. She goes and has it done, and I can't be there with her because I have an important client visiting at work, and time off is impossible. She texts me during work. She tells me it's done, that she loves me. I ask for a picture of the end result, and she tells me tonight, it will be a surprise. So I finally get home. She's dolled up, super tight black dress, stockings, everything for a night of fun. She tells me to go have a shower, and she will have dinner ready in the meantime. I ask to see the tattoo. She tells me later, I am frustrated. Go have the shower, come back, have dinner. Then we go to the fun stuff. I didn't see the tattoo on her wrist or legs, so I think to myself it is either on her back, upper thigh, or her shoulder. I am fine with that. I undo her zipper in the back, then she returns and lets her dress down. Instant boner killer. She had it done on her chest above her breasts. It's big and in your face. It leaks above her breasts, like on top of the breasts. It has thick contours. Yeah, this didn't go well with me. She completely ignored my opinions. She disregarded the places where we agreed she could have it done, and it's a monstrosity of a tatty in a place where I will always have to see it if we make love or she wears a bikini or something that has a cleavage. It is also something that is personal to me. Of all the things she mentioned the tattoo will be, she never told me about this. She said she wanted to be a gift to me, to show me her dedication. I feel disrespected, ignored, like my wishes and desires have no meaning to her. To me it shows what she thinks my status will be in our relationship, that she will just be able to go over anything I say and take drastic decisions without caring of the consequences. Well, a consequence of this is that I am calling off the wedding. She is in freakout mode. Says she thought I will like it. That she wanted to show her dedication to me. That she will have it removed. Basically anything she thinks I want to hear. My side of the family is understanding of my reaction. They know my standing on this matter. They know it wasn't something just like to pretend I hate but secretly love. Her side of the family is split. Her mother is more conservative. So her motives are not too straightforward. Her father is on my side. Her sister is all in on dear sister's side. Her brother is neutral, doesn't want to get involved. To me, even if she gets the tattoo removed, it shows her willingness to ignore my side of things, do things her way, then scramble and try to fix the eventual fuck up. I can't have that in a relationship. What do you guys think? The wedding is definitely off. That decision I won't revert. What steps would you take regarding the relationship? Is there anything worth saving here? Is this how she will always be? Or was this a spur of the moment decision? Any advice will be appreciated. Thank you. I'm a 29 year old female, and my boyfriend, a 32 year old male, has not allowed me to have alone time in almost eight years. We first started dating almost eight years ago. I own my house, and he rented an apartment. Right off the bat he started wanting to be together pretty regularly. Initially I thought it was just the honeymoon phase. I attempted to set boundaries, and started by trying to let me have one set day a week to myself. On that day he would call me with plans and ideas but then say something like, Oh but it's your day to yourself, I guess we can't do anything. So I changed it up to a floating day that way if something was going on he wouldn't feel like it's off limits. Eventually he would call me crying that I didn't want to see him on those days and I would cave and let him come over because I would feel horrible. About three months in, I invited him to stay over one night and he essentially never left. He was over all the time and my ability to have alone time disappeared. When I would ask him to give me space, he would say he doesn't understand why I would need alone time or vaguely accuse me of cheating because I wanted time away from him. He would tell me that on my car ride to work I am alone, so that counts as alone time. If I wanted to go out with friends without him, 
He would get upset because he didn't understand why I would want space away from him. I would come home and he would give me the silent treatment for a while. I would take the small times when he was at work and I had a day off for my alone time. I've worked full time so it was a rare occasion but I needed them. But about three years ago, he completely quit his job. He said he wanted to be a Twitch streamer and if he pursued that I don't know because he wouldn't speak to me about it. This meant he was home all the time. He schedules time with his friends while I'm working and will only do things while I'm at work. If I get home and he's playing video games with his friends he will quit. About two months ago he got a new job but made sure to find something he could work from home to do. Although now he's complaining and I think he will be quitting soon. I'm at my wit's end. I feel like I've completely lost myself and don't trust myself at all. I have felt like this isn't healthy but he's so adamant I'm wrong I don't know what to think anymore. Edit. Thank you to everyone so much for the advice. This is a little overwhelming. Several people have asked if this is what I want my life to be like and the answer is it's not. But I don't even know where to begin to get out. If I'm completely honest I am a little scared of him. He has never been physical with me but has always been very quick to anger with strangers and have confrontations with them. I have animals and take care of my elderly mom now because my dad recently passed that are factors in this story. If anyone has any suggestions on what my next steps are please let me know. Together for seven years, engaged for two, she gave me back the ring, said she didn't love me anymore, and the same night moved in with a mutual friend. I haven't had explicit confirmation that they're together, but many signs point to this. A few weeks ago she ghosted me and spent the night at his place. Bottle of lube and pillow was missing the day after the breakup. Lies, dishonesty about him, etc. Obviously, I've been devastated and blindsided by this. My heart is shattered, but the main issue at hand is we share a group of mutual friends. The guy she's with now is part of this group. And things started to change with my fiancé when he broke up with his long-term partner a month or two ago. I don't know how to talk to or approach our mutual friends about this. Some of them likely knew. However, a couple definitely didn't and were shocked and in disbelief when I told them, which made me second-guess sharing anything further. I love my group of friends. And I'm looking for any advice to navigate sharing discussing this with them so I don't come off as petty vindictive or in a way that could push them away as I don't really have anyone else to support me right now and there's no real way I can talk about this without painting her as an awful person. She was friends with most of them before I knew her. In short, long-term partner dumped me and moved and got with a mutual guy friend. How do I share talk about this with our mutual group of friends, some of whom may have may not have known what was going on? Update. Thank you for the advice everyone. I ended up reaching out to the mutual friend I trusted the most, and he was relieved I did and immediately came to my place to talk and told me everything. There had been an emotional affair going on behind my back for over a month, and probably a physical one they had, and the day I was dumped was the day my ex moved in with our mutual friend and started dating. All through this, she was constantly lying and manipulating me. My friends and her new BF, my other mutual friends are all shocked. Some of them have completely blocked her, they were trying hard from behind the scenes to defend me and salvage things, which ironically ended up with her breaking up with me faster, which I'm thankful for. They didn't know what to tell me as they almost couldn't believe it themselves, and were worried it would hurt me beyond what I was already dealing with. We've all determined that my ex is a sociopathic parasite, and we're going to stay friends going forward while cutting my ex and her new BF out of our lives. My only regret is that it took this long for me to see her for who she really is. My sister was pretty badly abused by her ex. Parents are freaking out she's in a relationship with an older guy and I fear they may be pushing her away. My sister's ex who L. Cole Martin was extremely controlling and abusive toward her. I don't want to go into too much detail about the extent of the abuse from what exactly he did, but it would stem from the fact that my sister did modeling for companies and he would freak the hell out if she even got a text from another guy. Regardless of what they were co-workers, friends, brothers, he'd freak out. And there were a variety of incident that's came from his insecurities. The last one was really bad and that caused the end of the relationship. Fast forward four years and my twin is in her first relationship since she broke it off with Martin. She's dating Blake, a long-term friend of my brother's. At some point they got close to each other through her brother Robin. She asked Robin for his friend's number after they had a few hangout sessions in a group. 
They got to talking and the end was history. They've been together for eight months. This is the happiest time that my brother and I have seen her in a long time. Blake's a good guy with a good career in fitness. Treats her well. We've known him for years dating back to high school. There was a period of time where she wouldn't leave the house and now she's going to see movies with him every weekend. My parents are freaking out over it and I get that they're scared in a certain level. But this is the first real progress she's shown in years. There hasn't been a big deal blowout between my sister and parents. But they've been arguing over her getting in another relationship because they think it's too soon. They're just worried. But she's been getting more and more annoyed with them as they've been arguing with her more and more about it. They just don't want her getting into another relationship because they think it's too soon. My dad likes Blake but he says after Martin he can't really trust anyone. My parents are kinda looking at my brother and I know to intervene and try to talk her out of dating again. But it's just one big brick wall we're talking to and I'm just unsure of what to do when it comes to them. Robin and my parents have been fighting because he keeps vouching for Blake. But I don't know.